Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get a 100% save file for your Wii U games using Save Me. I'm going to be adding a 100% save file to Mario Kart 8. And I'll also show you how to back up your current saves as well. Now, there's a lot of different Save Me mods out there, but this is the only one that I can find that works. And it was actually updated three weeks ago, as you can see, by Exploit U. And 1.5.8 is the current latest version, so that's the one we're going to be using. Other ones seem to have a lot of issues and don't have the best capability when it comes to backup and restoring saves. And we're going to download this one. So for Tiramisu, it's going to be the second link, the homebrew launcher. Uh, if you're using Aroma, you can do it on, you can use the first link. But uh, let's click on the second one and download the app. So once you have it downloaded, pull up your SD card. And we'll just split the screen here. And open up the file we just downloaded. And on your SD card, go into your Wii U folder, apps, and take this save me mod what port and drag it into that folder. Close the zip file, and once you have it transferred on, open it up and it should have these three files. And once you have that, we're ready to head over onto the Wii U. I'll meet you there. All right, we're on the Wii U. Make sure you're running your custom firmware and go into the homebrew launcher. Now for this video, I'm gonna be adding a 100% save file for Mario Kart 8. So if you want to do that as well, just follow along. Go over until you find Save Me What. What? Load it up. And it'll run through all of your save titles. For Wii U and VWii. So here we go. Uh, you can only use the gamepad to select. And we have three options here. So under Batch Backup, you can back up literally every save data you have. Uh, as you can see, it's 64 titles. But that's a lot of folders to deal with, so we're not going to do that. You have your Wii U save management and your VUE save management. If we go into your Wii U save management, press A, it'll have everything, including channels. As you can see, there's yellow titles and green titles. If it's yellow, it either means it has not been started yet and there's no save data, or it's virtual console. So as you can see, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, that's a virtual console Wii game. So if we press B and go to VUE save management, Scroll down from all of these files here, we'll eventually come up with our virtual Wii games. As you can see, DKC Returns is right there. So if you want to do uh, VWii save data, this is the spot. But we're doing Mario Kart 8, so we're going to go to Wii U Save Management and click on Mario Kart 8. So we have options to backup, restore, or wipe. Uh, we don't use Lodine anymore, it, that's an old sort of USB Loader GX version for Wii U games. First thing we're going to do, we're going to back up save data, I'm going to show you how to do that. So press A on it, and just select any empty slot, I think it goes up to, yeah, two, you can have 255 slots. Just start at zero, um, you're going to select the Wii U user you want to back up. So I got Funky Scott right here, there's no common save found, but if there is, uh, click yes. But once you have those settings chosen, press A to back it up. And it'll begin backing it up. I'll meet you when it's done. Perfect, so now it's done. And now on your SD card, it will have created a folder, a backup folder with the title ID. As you can see right above Mario Kart 8, that's the title ID for Mario Kart 8. There's gonna be a folder with the title ID as the name. If you have a bunch of different saves, it, it can get confusing, so just take note of that one. As you can see, it has EC in the last four numbers, so just remember that. And now we're gonna go over to the PC and download a 100% save file. So I'll meet you back on my PC. We're back on the PC, and now we're gonna see where that save data went. So go into your Wii U folder. You should see backups here, go into there and then you'll see title ID. So I also have a backup of Super Mario Bros U. That is this title ID with just a 1D right there. But as you remember from on the Wii U, it had EC in it, so we know this is Mario Kart 8. So if we go in here under zero, because we chose 000 as the slot, we're gonna have a numbered folder right here. And if you had a common file, it'll be in here as well. So that is where your backup is. Let's go download a 100% save file and get it set up to put on our Wii U. So linked below is this GBA temp page where it has a bunch of Wii U saves. It's alphabetically organized, so just scroll down, let's find M, there we go. So Mario Kart 8, click on it, and you'll have different options of different save data you want. This one is 100% save for NTSCU. There's ones without DLC, 
and just pick the one you want. I'm just going to do this regular 100% um, save. Click on the link and it should bring you to this Google page. And this is the Mario Kart 8 title ID. So it already has that. So just click download in the top right. And once it's done loading, it'll download in the bottom left as a zip file. So you need an extraction software to extract it. But once it's downloaded, open up your SD card again. Let's split the screen here. And then on your SD card, go into Wii U, Backups, go into the Mario Kart 8 folder. We're going to create a new folder called 1, and that'll be slot number 1. So we have slot 0, which we backed up, and slot 1, which we just created. So open up the 100% save file that we downloaded, and you should see the title ID. Open it up until we find common and 80001. We're going to grab these files and place them in the one folder that we just created. Close the zip file and if we go in there we should have those two files, folders sorry. One thing we're going to change is if we go into our backup notice that it's 80005 that's user specific so we're going to go to the save file we downloaded and change it to whatever your number is so mine is 5 at the end. Some of them have letters, some are just different numbers, so it just depends on your Wii U. But just change that and make sure you have a common folder. Every 100% save file is going to have one. But once you have that on your SD card, we are ready to eject it and go to our Wii U again. Let's go get it set up. Once you're back in your Save Me app, we're going to go into Wii U Save Management again and find Mario Kart 8 or whichever game you're adding the file to. Press A. And this time we're gonna first we're gonna wipe the save data so we're gonna it's only on the NAND so we can't change that select Wii U user to delete from I'm gonna be doing this for funky Scott so just click a are you sure confirm a are you really sure a we already backed it up so we're gonna click no and it'll delete the save file and it's done. Now we have a clean slate, we can restore save data and we can add the 100% save file. So click A on restore. And if you remember, we made a folder named one, that's gonna be slot number one right here. So make sure you have the correct slot chosen. Select SD user to copy from, we're gonna select the 8005 number. Select Wii U user to copy to. I'm gonna be doing it to Funky Scott go down to common save, make sure it's yes. So once you have all that ready, just press A and A to confirm, B because we already backed up and it will copy the files and I'll meet you when it's done. And that was actually pretty quick. So now we can press the home button and let's go check out if it worked. Okay, let's go find Mario Kart 8 and start it up. So here we go, we're loading in. So if we go to single player, Grand Prix, let's go see what we have unlocked. We have all the characters. That is amazing. Let's go Roy. Yep, all of the carts. So there we go, everything is unlocked. So just like that, we now have 100% unlocked Mario Kart 8 save data. Now this is really great if you're gonna be using the custom track distribution CTGP universe. You won't have access to all the custom tracks unless you have everything unlocked so this just saves the hassle of all the time to unlock everything yourself and then you can enjoy every custom track now if you're interested in getting ctgp universe there'll be a video linked below on how to do that but anyways that's it for the video um, hopefully you were able to follow this tutorial and get the 100 percent save file on whatever game you wanted but if you ran into any issues comment below i'll try to help out or you can join my discord and ask for help there if you want to support my work for making all of these tutorials, there's a link below to buy me a coffee, or you can use the super thanks if you want. Of course, that's not expected, and all that I ask from you is that you hit that like button. That's free. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.